So welcome to this week's Speak the Speech video. Boo, John and Mike, we're here this week. We're gonna talk about what what's a great speech and, what, and who's a great speaker. So um, to do that, we have selected a, a speech, a fairly recent speech from Jacinda Ardern and her Christchurch speech. And we're gonna have a little watch of it and we're gonna talk about what makes it so great. We, 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 we could, of course, have, we could have talked chosen so many different speeches and we totally appreciate this is not exactly a joyous speech and don't don't get us wrong we're not going to be forensically p picking this apart what was really important about this speech was that it was real and that it was authentic and 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 the speech itself was far less important than the circumstance but I do think it's worth talking about because I think one of the great things about this speech from Jacinda is that she clearly thought that the circumstance deserved a beautiful speech, mm. that, that the event deserved a beautiful speech. And so she made it a beautiful speech, not just with her content, but with the way she delivered it as well. So for me, you know, I think that's why it's a, it's really a perfect example of a, a beautiful speech. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a watch of the video and we're going to comment on it as we go along. Boo's going to pick up some stuff about her body language. Mikey's going to talk about her delivery, mm. and I'm going to talk about her content. So, without further ado. E rau rangatira mā, e nā reo, e nā mana, tēnā koutou katoa. Ngai tahu whānui, tēnā koutou. E papa ki tu ana nā tai o maumaha ki runga o, o outu tahi. Hari mai tātou me te aroha, me te rangi mārie, ki te whānau nei. I ora maireri ai ano rātou, i ora maireri ai ano tātou katoa. We gather here... So, the, I mean, the, 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 the first point I just wanted to make about the, the content is, it, I think it's remarkable that she uses the Maori, not, yeah. not, not just to say hello, but what we're 48 full, seconds into the, intro. To the speech, it's almost a seventh of her speech is, is, is in Maori. And, uh, and of course the, there's the signer there, later on she talks about, you know, she talks in Arabic. And so she's clearly, this is a speech about bringing people together, about unity mm. and what better way to, to do it than actually to to, to speak in that Fantastic. in that other language for, for so long as well. Mm. Amazing, mm. amazing, incredibly powerful way of beginning a talk there. Well, it's interesting with her body language. It's it's very simple and it's it's very consistent throughout. But it's very restrictive. She's got this big sort of cloak on, mm. and we don't really see her hands, which I normally consider a great sign as a commitment to your audience but what she's able to do um, is because she's keeping the body language very very simple and of course she's quite isolated by the the podium but what she's been able to do is is reflect the mood that she wants so she's drawing everything to her empathy her sympathy and almost mm. at times anguish that she's reflecting in her face. She's not overdoing it, she's not patronizing mm. the audience, but she's just keeping it simple and displaying what she most wants the audience to be drawn to, which is the highlighted face, which is saying it all. It's exactly, it's all about the words, isn't it? Yeah. It's all, it's not, this isn't, don't look at me, I'm not, sh this is me being showy, I just want you to hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't I, want to distract just you the words, exactly. with anything. Look at this and hear these words. Exactly. Yeah, it's just extraordinary sincerity, really, uh, it, and it just feels, it feels so appropriate and so and so fitting. And I just think that one of the remarkable things for me is how co the consistency she, consistency she has, mm. with her with the pace of of her delivery. I mean, you speak about her speaking for such a long time in in Maori. And then the occasional references. I mean, in many of her speeches since it, since it, the atrocity, you know, using Arabic, and just not rushing through a single syllable. You know, I mean, we talk a lot about about letting your messages just sit for a moment before rushing on and uh, moving on. And I just think it's a remarkable 
example of that. You know, with the world watching, just that ability to to deliver things at a pace that, that she's comfortable with, but that everyone there, I mean, just watching it now, it's emotional, but to be there live and, and her allowing you to process what's being said. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Let's watch a bit more. 14 days on from our darkest of hours. In the days that have followed the terrorist attack on the 15th of March, we have often found ourselves without words. What words adequately express the pain and suffering of 50 men, women and children lost and so many injured? What words capture the anguish of our Muslim community being the target of hatred and violence? What words express the grief of a city that has already known so much pain? I thought there were none. I'm just going to make a little observation here as well as to why I think she's keeping it really, really simple. Because there's a sign in there. And she doesn't want to distract any of the message that she's giving. So she's kept her mm, body language incredibly mm, quite simple. Possibly, quite possibly, yeah, yeah. So there with the, with the content, I think again what she does so incredibly well here is she's she's been able to put her finger on what the nation and what the world is probably feeling and some of the questions they would be asking. I think great speakers are able to do that, put themselves in the shoes of the people that are going to be listening and, and there the, the repetition of what words, what, you know, we, we, we're all lost for words mm. and what words can we find and, and, and to be able to do that and put, really put herself in our shoes. I, I, immediately it, it, it's it's very powerful and I think also there's no coincidence here and you'll, you'll notice this throughout the speech her use of the three the rule of three and this isn't again this isn't sort of a cynical ploy or anything like that the the reason we use three is because three is a, is a memorable number we remember three it's a pattern number the first pattern number one two three if something happens three times it's a pattern and we remember patterns and so you'll find throughout her speech that she says things three times. Great speakers will often do that. Mm. So, yeah. And then I came here and was met with this simple greeting. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. They were simple words, repeated by community leaders who witnessed the loss of their friends and loved ones. Simple words whispered by the injured from their hospital beds. Simple words spoken by the bereaved and everyone I met who has been affected by this attack. Assalam alaikum. Peace be upon you. They were words spoken by a community who in the face of hate and violence had every right to express anger, but instead opened their doors for all of us to grieve with them. And so we say to those who have lost the most. I just have to pick up on that. I hadn't really thought about much before is, and again, how conscious this is or, or, or not, I don't know, but that remarkable use of contrast. So she, she, she throws out the, the horror of the occasion. And then, you know, it's, it's the more you watch it, the more moving it gets, but that people on their hospital beds yeah. who've been affected yeah. by, by this awful, I mean, just, awful, awful attack. It's, it doesn't even bear thinking about what it was like uh, as it happened, you know, and, and to, so she just, that, that use of contrast is so powerful Fantastic. that you would imagine walking into a hospital and just being confronted by rage and, mm. and despair. And, and that image for me, is, yeah. it will last with me for a long time, mm. that someone's lying there injured and the first thing, the first words that leave their yeah. lips are, you know, Peace, peace, with you. peace yeah. with you. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Simple words, simple words, simple words. One, two, three. Yeah. We may not have always had the words. We may have left flowers, performed the haka, sung songs, or simply embraced. But even when we had no words, we still heard yours. And they have left us humbled, and they have left us united. Over the past two weeks, we've heard the stories of those impacted by this terrorist attack. They were stories of bravery, 
They were stories of those who were born here, grew up here, or who had made New Zealand their home, who had sought refuge or sought a better life for themselves or their families. These stories, they now form part of our collective memories. They will remain with us forever. They are us. But with that memory comes a responsibility, a responsibility to be the place that we wish to be, a place that is diverse, that is welcoming, that is kind and compassionate. Those values... Again, even within a sentence there, a place that is diverse, that is kind, kind that is passionate. warm and passionate. And, and it's, again, it's that use of the three within, within a sentence, mm. which is... And, and the, the, the remarkable emphasis she puts on words, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's... And yeah. she's not able to stress it herself. As I say, you can see she's keeping it really, really simple. She does up the ante a little with a, a little more intent, but she's not stealing this lady's thunder. So it's remarkable that she's still able to really stress. But it's all in the voice, isn't it? Yeah. It's all beautiful. So, so coming from the heart. And I think great speakers as well, you know, I spoke about pacing and pausing before. There was a moment there where she actually, you know, mixed it up and actually the pace changed mm. and it wasn't, you know, by good pacing and pausing, we, we never mean to suggest it's all sort of metronomic sentence, pause, sentence, pause, no. you know. You, it carries that, that intent. Yeah, it's organic yeah. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it, you know, exactly, it carries that intent. So mm. pacing and pausing can... can you know, it can speed up at times mm. and slow down again, and, and that's what makes it feel real, I suppose. Mm. ...represent the very best of us. But even the ugliest of viruses can exist in places they are not welcome. Racism exists, but it is not welcome here. An assault on the freedom of any one of us to pra who practices their faith or religion is not welcome here. Violence and extremism in all its forms is not welcome here. And over the last two weeks, we have shown that, you have shown that in your actions, from the thousands at vigils to the 95-year-old man who took four buses to attend a rally because he couldn't sleep from the sadness of seeing the hurt and suffering of others. And here's, here's another wonderful uh, uh, rhetoric device, which is the, the use of an, of an example of a yeah. story, of a yeah. powerful story, you know, the, 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 the evocation of a 95-year-old man taking four buses to get to, to, get to the mm. rally. And, you know, that, that's powerful. It reminded me of Barack Obama's the six-year-old, yeah, that's yeah. it. And there was a the old was, lady. That's right, the, the old lady. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very powerful. Our challenge now is to make the very best of us a daily reality, because we are not immune to the viruses of hate, of fear, of other. We never have been, but we can be the nation that discovers the cure. And so, to each of us. As we go from another lovely use of contrast there, yeah. we're, we're not this, but we can be this. Absolutely, you know, and and I think she's so she's very brave as well with her yeah. with with her delivery. She puts her heart on the line there. You know, you know. The moment, yeah. After that, pause and going back to there, there was that shift, wasn't there, in that vocal energy and intent, and that just completely married was in harmony with. The, the content that was coming, there was just a mm. real... But did you notice she called it virus earlier? And now yeah. she's reminded us that she's it's a virus. Mm. And then she's talking about a cure. I think it's mm. genius. Mm. Yeah, that's it. There's, there's such a genuine and authentic warmth. You believe every yeah. word. Mm. There's a vulnerability almost there that, that mm. you know, this is, a, this is a human being talking with compassion, empathy and warmth and... And it's, it's, it's all real and it's all, it's all authentic. Yeah, absolutely. From here, we have work to do. But do not leave the job of combating hate to the government alone. We each hold the power in our words and in our actions and our daily acts of kindness. Let that be the legacy of the 15th of March. 
to be the nation we believe ourselves to be. To the global community who have joined us. Sorry, I did keep going over the three, but words, actions, daily acts of kindness. Not only are the three, but the third point is always yeah. the longest point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, words, actions, daily. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us today, who reached out to embrace New Zealand and our Muslim community, to all of those who have gathered here with us, we say thank you. And we also ask that the condemnation of violence and terrorism turns now to a collective response. The world has been stuck in a vicious cycle of extremism, breeding extremism, and it must end. We cannot confront. So the, as, as, as we stop there, I think that there's another thing that knows how simple and short most yeah. of her sentences are. You've taken which, the words from You know, when we're grieving, yeah. it's... Mm. And, she, and because of that, it's so impactful, but it's mm. literally... The sentences are so brief. Succinct. Mm. But have you seen there? I've made a point. You've responded, and now I'm reconnecting with you. Really mm. yeah. simple but strong body language as well. Mm. We cannot confront these issues alone. None of us can. But the answer to them lies in a simple concept that is not bound by domestic borders, that isn't based on ethnicity, power base, or even forms of governance. The answer lies in our humanity. But for now, we will remember those who have left this place. We will remember the first responders who gave so much of themselves to save others. We will remember the tears of our nation and the new resolve we have formed. And we remember that ours is a home that does not and cannot claim perfection, but we can strive to be true to the words embedded in our national anthem. Men of every creed and race, gather here before thy face, asking thee to bless this place. God defend our free land from dissension, envy, hate, and corruption guard our state. Make our country good and great. God defend New Zealand. Ko tato tato. Assalamu alaikum. There we go. There we go. An incredible quote at the end, obviously, from the National Anthem. Yes. So, mm. To finish it. So, well, hopefully it's, um, <laughs> you know, I think, I, personally, I think it's, it's a great choice of speech for our very first share. Again, it, it's, it's, it's an extremely poignant one, but, you know, we'll be covering a whole range of speeches. I'm sure there'll be some very joyous ones. What's central here is it captures the oh, mood. It's beautiful. you know we we speak about body language and all in all its in all its glory, so to speak. But here the cri the, the, the critical word is it's appropriate. Mm. The tone is appropriate. Mm. Um, you know, facial mm. expression is appropriate to the situation. Uh, and I okay. think that that that's what the nation needed, and that's why that's what leaders have to do. Mm. Leaders have to speak on behalf of their country that's their nation and 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 to yeah. and to say what we are feeling and to find try and work, find ways of capturing that mm. but but also being able to 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 provide that empathy and that compassion and that uh, yeah. sum up the, the 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 grief that everyone was clearly clearly feeling mm. so yeah one stunning yeah absolutely stunning so there we go that was our review of uh, Jacinda's incredible Christchurch speech. I hope you found that useful. Please, once more, reminder, if you want to subscribe, you can see below and also go to our link there for more information about us. See you next time. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.